As we scan more superiorly, we will bring in the right ventricular outflow tract, as shown here. And the sonographic cut shows us the right ventricle anteriorly, leading to the pulmonary valve, pulmonary artery, and duct, which head in a virtually straight AP anterior posterior direction. And we can see the right pulmonary artery particularly easily in this plane as it heads behind the ascending aorta. Both the ascending aorta, shown here, and the superior vena cava are shown in their short axis in these sonographic planes. As we sweep up again, we can see that the vessels, the pulmonary artery is defined by the fact that it branches into the branch pulmonary arteries. The aorta and pulmonary artery should be of approximately similar size, usually with the pulmonary artery very slightly larger than the aorta, although there shouldn't be a major discrepancy in their size. The pulmonary valve should be thin and mobile, and a good way to assess this is by the fact that it can't be seen during systole. It appears during diastole as it closes and disappears during systole. As the ultrasound transducer is angulated more cranially, the first vessel which is encountered is the aorta, which leaves in the center of the heart and heads towards the fetal right shoulder. The aortic valve can be seen to open and close here. On sweeping cranially again, the pulmonary artery is now seen, which takes a course directly anterior from the anterior chest wall through towards the spine, taking a more or less directly AP course here. The branching of the pulmonary artery can be appreciated here with the main pulmonary artery ducked and the right pulmonary artery tucked under here. I'm just going to try and show that bifurcation a little better in a different projection here of the pulmonary valve of the pulmonary artery. So we're going to see that this is the main pulmonary artery here coming out and bifurcating. Here we see the left pulmonary artery and then the arterial duct. So the, the, the pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery seen here, left, and the arterial duct just above the left pulmonary artery. So the pulmonary artery is a bifurcating structure in contrast to the aorta which gives rise to the transverse aortic arch and does not uh, bifurcate in the same way. The great arteries cross in their orientations as they leave the heart. By that I mean as we sweep cranially, the aorta leaves the heart here, heading towards the fetal right shoulder in this projection here as it leaves the heart whereas the pulmonary artery heads more or less from the front of the chest back. So the great arteries cross as they leave the heart. You should not see the vessels as they leave the heart lying in parallel. That would be strongly suggestive of transposition of the great arteries.